my channel. I hope you guys are well wherever you are. The heat has arrived you guys. So I was planning on doing this video outside on my back patio but it is just entirely too hot. I went out there and started setting it up and I was like no. This is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to take this video inside. So here we are, we're inside. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a gardener themed gift basket. So I'm gonna be visiting a friend here soon and she is also into gardening. So I really wanna put something together for her. So I came up with the idea that I was gonna put together a gardener's gift basket for her. As I was putting it together, of course, as always, I figured I might as well just turn on the camera and share with you guys. So I don't really come up with themed videos. It's more so of what I already have going on and then I just turn on the camera and share it with you guys. So today I am working on a gift basket for a gardener and I was just gonna share with you guys some of the things that I picked up and hopefully give you all some ideas if maybe there's somebody that you know that loves gardening as well that you would like to put together a basket for or maybe you just want some of these items for yourself so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys the things that I picked up and then I'm gonna try to arrange them into this basket somehow it's a rustic herb basket so I thought that this basket was perfect when I saw it because I figured that maybe she could use this basket as well so it does have a drainage hole in it so maybe she would be able to plant in it or I would personally just use it as like a harvesting basket because it does come along with handles so I thought maybe this would be perfect just to have as a harvesting basket so I picked this up and I think I'm going to try to arrange all the items I picked up for her in this basket on the front it does say herbs so that is the starter. This is an herb marker kit. I also picked this up. And all the items that I'm showing you guys, I will try to have them linked down below. Some of them, like the basket, I did find randomly. So I didn't purchase that online or anything. I just randomly came across it. But maybe if I can find something similar, I will have the things linked down below. So this is a metal herb marker set. So it is a six piece set and the markers are for mint, thyme, parsley, rosemary, sage, and basil. Along with that, I picked her up a couple of seeds. So these are the sunflower, rouge royale, and an echinacea, the purple cone flower. So I know that she's really into flowers. I'm pretty sure that she may have these two type of flowers, but I'm not quite sure that she has these varieties. This red royale is beautiful. I did grow this last year and pictures don't even do it justice. It is just a really unique, beautiful flower. So I would like for her to try those. Then I also picked her up some gloves, more gardening gloves. Never can have too many gardening gloves. So I got her a pack of gardening gloves. Also picked her up some twine. Twine have many uses in the garden. I make trellises with twine. I tie herbs, you name it. I have a roll of twine for every project in my garden. So I figured she would benefit from having another roll of twine. I also picked up this tool, gardening tool set. It's a two piece set and it is stainless steel. I may take it out of this packaging. I don't think that I'm gonna keep it in this box because the box is just real bulky and I don't think I'm gonna have the space for that. So I do plan on taking them out of this box. Also picked up this little kit, Save the Bees. So this is a Zinnia pollinator kit. It comes with a biodegradable pot, a seed packet, and some growing medium. And then it has the instructions inside. I saw this and I thought it was a cute addition for the basket. Then I also have some of my homemade Calendula salve. Mmm, smells so good. And it actually has a little piece of calendula flower in there. This is homemade. Don't forget, you can check the video out right here on how I make my homemade calendula salve. And I also have the video linked down below in the description box. But this is great for any gardener because when we are gardening, we always have bites or boo-boos, scrapes, scratches. And this is perfect for, for gardening hands. Extra moisturizing. This boo-boo cream, as my kids call it, we use it. We go through it so much. Whenever my kids get a scrape, a bug bite, a boo-boo, anything, paper cut, 
this is what they come running for. This is what they look for in our house. I was gonna share one with her because for gardeners, gardening hands, this is a must. So this is made with homegrown calendula. If you don't have your own homegrown calendula, you can always buy dry herbs from online. But don't forget to check the video out on how to make this because it's very easy to do with just a couple of ingredients and it is thebomb.com. So I'm gonna be gifting her one of those. Then I found this little sign. I don't know if I'm gonna use this or not but it does say so water and weight I was thinking maybe she could have this out like in her gardening shed or in her greenhouse just another cute little addition to have so I may use that I'm not sure and I also picked her up some of this flower girl bud and bloom booster so like I mentioned before I know that she is really into flowers so I thought that this flower fertilizer would be great for her and it says that it is ideal for all flowering plants fruit trees citrus hibiscus vines roses I know that she has a lot of hydrangeas it's a small pack so it's supposed to promote maximum blooms and strong roots I really love the Dr. Earth brand. I use that a lot in my garden. I typically will use the all-purpose fertilizer whenever I am just amending my bed and replenishing my beds with nutrients. I do like to use a couple of cups of that mixed in with everything else that I add. So we're going to be adding this. And then the last thing is I picked up these gardening boots. I have a pair as well and I know that I definitely love 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 my garden boots especially when it is raining or after it has been raining and you want to go out into the garden my backyard particularly my backyard always tends to get flooded we deal with a lot of flooding in my backyard so after a good rain it's definitely going to be some muddy puddles around and that is when I like to pull out my gardening rain boots so I did purchase these online from Target I would definitely have those linked down below I think she'll really love these if they did have a a couple of other colors they had like a gray and an olive green I was torn between getting the blue and the olive green but it ended up getting the navy for her so that is it really we're gonna go ahead and try to put the basket together see how it comes together so let's jump into getting this basket put together <laughs> you guys as always when I'm making baskets I have to move things around a million and one times until I find the right spot for everything the boots were a little awkward trying to get in here I wasn't really loving them either way I kept flipping flopping them trying to get them in the right position I think I'm gonna leave them as is even though I don't a hundred percent love them this way but I think it's gonna work out so everything did fit in here. We have the tools back here, the fertilizer, the gloves, the seeds, and I put the calendula salve right here, the markers hanging from the side, and I put the twine inside of this little boot. And then per usual, I stuffed it with some of that brown shred paper. So I think she's really gonna love it. It's the thought that counts. So she isn't expecting this at all. So I think she, it's really gonna make her a day. And 
like I said, as a gardener, I would love any of these things if they were given to me. So I really think she's gonna appreciate them. So really, that's it for today's video, you guys. A short and sweet. Like I said, I was just putting this together and wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully, you guys got some ideas for someone else or maybe you wanna pick up one of these items for yourself if you are also into gardening. The boots are definitely a must. They came from Target and I will have them down in the description box below if anybody's interested. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up you guys and meet me down in the comment section below subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys save the bees